What's up and welcome into the FanDuel Hurry Up for Week 3. I'm Jay Felicio here to tell you about three players you need to be looking to add off of your waiver wire. First up is rookie wide receiver Garrett Wilson of the New York Jets. And while he did have a pedestrian start to his career in Week 1, four catches for 52 yards, he absolutely blew up in Week 2. 14 targets, 8 catches, 102 receiving yards, and 2 touchdowns one of which was the game winner and a miraculous comeback for the New York Jets over the Cleveland Browns. Now he has 23, 22 targets through two games, which is third most in the entire NFL. And I still do like Elijah Moore on this offense, but you can't ignore the discrepancy in targets. 22 for Garrett Wilson to 12 for Elijah Moore. Now we don't know what this offense is going to look like once Zach Wilson returns from injury, but right now it looks as if Garrett Wilson could be emerging as the wide receiver one on this offense. Now, he's widely available, but after this big game versus the Browns, that's not going to be the case much longer. Up next is Gerald Everett, tight end for the Los Angeles Chargers. And unless you have one of those elite options, the Travis Kelseys, the Mark Andrews, tight end is pretty much a wasteland for fantasy football. But Everett's a guy that I could see emerging as one of those who could reliably get you double-digit points. Now, like I said, you don't have one of those top two guys. That's basically what you're looking for. Somebody who can regularly catch a touchdown or get you over that 10-point threshold. But Everett has been there so far this season. Two games, 13.8 points per game on a PPR basis. And what I'm encouraged about with Gerald Everett is the ways that he's done it. First game, he was able to haul in a touchdown, three catches, 54 yards. Week two, he didn't catch a score, but he had 10 targets, six catches, 71 yards. You gotta love that usage from a tight end. Now, normally when I'm targeting targeting a tight end that isn't one of those top guys, I want somebody who has the potential to be a top two option in the passing game. That's obviously not the case with Gerald Everett, with guys like Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Joshua Palmer, Austin Eckler. Honestly, he could be fourth or fifth in line, but this offense is potent enough. They're pass happy enough. They like to use Gerald Everett in the red zone. He's actually second on the team for red zone targets, so he's getting those high-value looks as well. Um, this offense can easily support multiple pass-catching options for, from a fantasy football perspective. If you're looking for tight end help, think Gerald Everett's your guy. And last but not least, another rookie wide receiver, Jahan Dotson for the Washington Commanders. And while the Commanders are 1-1, one one, their offense is looking pretty potent, at least from a fantasy football perspective. Carson Wentz is tied for the league lead in tight ends in touchdowns with seven passing touchdowns along with Tua Tungavailoa and Carson Wentz. Three of those seven touchdowns have gone to Dotson. While yes, Dotson's only averaging five targets per game, he's actually third on the team, two behind Terry McLaurin, so he's not that far behind. Two games into his career, it looks like Carson Wentz has looked to Jahan Dotson as his go-to in the red zone. He's tied on the team for the most red zone targets. And Curtis Samuel does have more targets, but Dotson's actually on the field more with an 88% snap share compared to Curtis Samuel, 71%. I currently see Jahan Dotson as a boom-bust flex play, and he, but he does have some upside. He's virtually tied with Terry McLaurin for snap percentage, and he's only two targets behind him. If the chemistry with Carson Wentz continues to build, there is the potential for the big rookie season from Jahan Dotson. 